Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm SMATX and today we have a really interesting question, x to the fourth power equal to minus 4. And a lot of students confused about this challenge because they say, hey mister, this is our function, this is our constant, so there's no point of intersection right here, so how is it possible? And my answer is the next one, everything is possible in math, right now let's solve this challenge uh, like that. First of all, let's bring this minus 4 from our right side to left side. So what do we have right here? Let's bring it from, from right to left. So we have right here x to the fourth power, we have right here plus 4 equal to equal to 0. Okay, we just bring in this minus 4 from, from right to left. Right now, let's do the really interesting trick. Let's create a square. So let's try to create a square right here. First of all, let's write this expression, okay? So x to the fourth power plus 4. And right now, let's add to this expression. So plus 4x square, okay? And let's subtract this expression. So minus 4x square equal to 0. Obviously, this change, this expression change nothing right here because this is equal to 0. So it changed nothing. But right now, let's bring this 4x square in this place. So let's uh, re re let's change in order a little bit. So let's do this. First of all, we have x to the fourth power, yeah? Next, what do we have right here? Plus 4x square, 4x square. The next thing, plus 4 from here. And minus 4x square, minus 4x square equal to 0. Right now, really interesting moment because this expression right here, this is our this is our formula. But what formula right here? Let's look closely. This is our x square plus 2 to the second power. Okay, so let's write it. This is our formula. x square, x square plus 2. We have square right here. And we still have this minus 4x square, minus 4x square equal to zero. For those who don't understand this formula right here, you can also re raise this to the second power. We have x to the fourth plus two times two. We have four x square and plus four. So this is absolutely the same thing right here. So for those who don't understand it, you can also pause the video and raise this to the second power. This is classic school identity right here. Okay, what are we going to do next? Right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. We have an expression right here. Doesn't matter what expression do we have. We have this expression to the second power. And obviously, this is really great for us because we can create a square right here. So we can write this as, as 2x to the second power, okay? Let's do this. So we have right here x square plus 2. We have square minus, instead of this 4x square, let's write the next expression. Let's write... 2x and all raised to the second power. Obviously, this is absolutely the same thing because 2x square to the second power, this is 2 square times x square, which is absolutely the same thing. So equal to equal to zero. Right now, I hope you see this identity right here because we have one expression to the second power. We have another expression to the second power. So this is our mm, school identity. Everyone should know about this identity. This is our a square minus b square. Yeah, everyone knows this formula. This is equal to a plus b times a minus b, a minus b. Okay, really great. Right now, let's apply this formula right here in this in this expression. So this is our a, this is our b. So let's do this. So we have two parentheses, yeah? We have right here two parentheses. The first parentheses, we have x square plus 2 with the plus sign plus 2x. Okay, so plus 2x. And in the second parentheses, we have x square plus 2, but minus 2x. Okay, so x square plus 2 and minus 2x. Really great. As you can see, we factor our question. We have two parentheses, but it's, it's for better understanding, let's change an order a little bit. Okay, because we have right here a constant. This is how it looks like C, this is how it be, because this is like a quadratic equation, but we prefer another order. Okay, let's change an order. If this and everything will be really great for us. So we have right here x squared plus 2x plus 2, first parentheses, and the second parentheses, x squared minus 2x and plus 2 equal to 0. Really great. So we have two parentheses and everyone should know, it doesn't matter what expression do we have inside parentheses, if, para if the product of two parentheses equal to 0, then we have two cases. So then the first parentheses equal to 0, so let's start with this one. So what do we have right here? x squared plus 2x plus 2 equal to 0, or we have the second parentheses x squared minus 2x plus 2 equal to equal to 0. So we have two cases right now. Let's solve this. So let's solve this both both cases. First of all, we need to know a formula. I hope everyone know about this formula. This is a classic formula for a quadratic equation that x equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a. This is our formula. And uh, this formula absolutely is great for this case. So right, right now let's find our our discriminant. So let's start with this one. In this case, 
let's start from, from left side. So A equal to 1, B equal to 2, and C equal to equal to 2. This is our coefficient of a quadratic equation. Right now, let's find our discriminant. Okay, let's do this. So our discriminant to this question equal to B square, okay, B square minus 4AC, which is equal to B square. We have 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 2. And, and right now, we can easily see that this expression is negative right here because we have 4. We have 4 minus, we have right here 8. So as a result, our discriminant is negative. We have minus 4. And as I told before, we like we like don't have right here real roots. So this is everything is great for us because as I said told before, this is like a complex part right here. So this is great for us to see a discriminant with a negative sign. This absolutely is, is great for us. Right now, let's plug in this discriminant into this spot. So we have right here x first and second because right here we have two roots with the plus minus sign equal to we have minus b. We have right here minus 2, minus 2, plus minus, square root of discriminant minus 4, and all over we have right here 2a, a equal to 1, so as a result we have we have 2, which is equal to, let's simplify this a little bit, we have minus 2, right now let's try to create a complex unit right here, because we have a complex number, we are talking about complex number, so we have plus minus, and let's write this minus 4 as minus 1, so let's write this like that, minus 1, times square root of 4. We can split this square root because there is a property, yeah? All over 2. Right now, final moment right here, square root of 4 equal to 2, and as a result we have our, um, our expression right here. So let's look closely what do we have right here. We have minus 2 plus minus i, this is a complex unit, i square root of 4 equal to 2, and all over, all over 2. And right now, really interesting trick right here. Let's divide numerator and denominator. Let's divide numerator by 2. Let's divide this numerator by this 2. As a result, we have minus 1 plus minus. Right here, we have only i. So as a result, we have 2 complex root. Right now, let's go to the next uh, to the next case because we have right here the second case. We have right here two roots, x first and second. Let's find the third and fourth root. Let's do this right now. Okay. So the formula is absolutely the same. I don't want to write this formula once more. This is our quadratic equation. Coefficient is a little bit like uh, different. So we, we can see a little difference between this coefficient. So a equal to one, b equal to minus two, and c equal to c equal to two. Yeah, but it changed nothing obviously because right here discriminant is uh, close to each other because we have right here minus minus 2 we squared it we have we have 4 okay so obviously we have looks like the same discriminant but let's check it so discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac okay which is equal to we have minus 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 2 and as i told before this is absolutely the same discriminant right here we have 4 minus we have right here minus 8 which is equal to minus 4 really great right now let's plug in all of these elements into this spot into this into this formula so this is our x third and fourth because obviously we find our x first and second this is x third and fourth which is equal to we have minus b so we have two plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus four and all over to a all over two and right now absolutely the same thing as before this is our complex unit we, we did the same thing before so we write it as i times two so let's use our, our knowledge before. So we have 2 plus minus 2i all over, all over 2, which is equal to equal to the same thing. Let's divide both sides by 2. So numerator, denominator, let's, let's divide numerator. Yeah, is we divide this numerator by this common denominator. So as a result, we have 1 plus minus i. And this is our root. Let's write our answer. As you can see right here, we find all of these complex roots. You can also see this uh, complex root on this uh, complex plane on the left side right here. And this is really great. So let's write our final answer. Let's write our final answer. So x first, x first equal to, let's go with the minus sign, doesn't matter. So minus one plus i. x second equal to minus one minus i. And x third equal to, equal to x third. We have right here one plus i. Yeah, 1 plus i, and this, the fourth root right here equal to 1 minus i. And as I told before right here, we have right here x to the fourth power. So it means we have right here x to the fourth power equal to minus 4. So it means that this 4 means that we have no more than 4 roots right here, okay? So obviously all of these roots is, is like a, a maximum to this challenge because we can't like 
solve this challenge with five roots we have four right here fourth power so it means that we have like no more than four roots we can we could solve this challenge with the three solutions we could solve this challenge with the two solution but no more than four roots so everything is absolutely okay one moment that this is a complex this is a complex solution this is a complex solution right here so as you can see we have we have four complex roots right here and obviously you can also uh, see this complex part um, you can see that you will have a like, complex root from these graphs right here x to the fourth power this is our like uh, exponential function and this function does not intersect with this constant which is like negative so there's no like possible in real numbers in complex numbers as you can see we have four complex roots so we hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. You can also leave a like, write any comment if the video is helpful. If this video is not helpful for you, you can also leave a dislike. You can also you can also leave a like and a negative mm, response from you. This is everything is great. I really appreciate it. If you leave your response, if you if you write your thoughts, write your comments, yeah, I really appreciate it. So thank you for your time. Thank you everyone for your support. See you in the next videos and have a great day.